Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jen and Christian's with me mm. and oh boy do we have a fun one tonight. Another undiscovered gem that we are dying to talk to you guys about. So if you want to hear our thoughts on a phenomenal movie called Soft and Quiet, stick around. Uh, so we're gonna be gonna have to, due to the nature of this film, we're gonna be, uh, gonna be have to be incredibly vague about most of the stuff involving this movie. We basically can only talk about the first 10 or so minutes without giving away something in the movie, which I don't want to because the marketing didn't and ups on them for managing to pull that off. What I'd like to interject right here is guys, if you have, this movie is phenomenal and it is good to go in as blind as yes. possible. So if you guys have not seen this movie, stop this video and watch it. And then if you want to come back um, because uh, this movie, the best way to experience it is to go in blind. Literally, there is a scene in this movie and it's going to sound silly when we say it, but Christian got jumps scared by a pie. A pie legitimately <laughs> like not really like I guess the best way to describe it is like a jump scare but just like my fucking the fucking pit of my stomach just sank the second we cut we got to a shot of a pie around the 15 minute mark and I'm like oh I thought this was something completely different I thought we were doing one thing which is bad and then we get a whole other level of fuckedness uh, with this movie. Uh, yes, this movie is brilliant and we haven't heard too many people. This was a movie that you you didn't even know too much I about. Literally, we were literally just like, okay, what what was what were the releases on the 4th and we saw this movie we pulled up a trailer like, hey, this looks kind of good and we checked like what discussing and a couple other news sites were saying it's pretty good and we were like, okay, let's check it that let's check it out and see what we think and uh, yeah, neither of us knew anything about like what the movie was about besides the basics of what we'll tell you. It is the story of a group of white women. Uh, Who are feminine women, not feminist. Be very clear on this. They're not feminist. Yeah, They're very, feminine. Very traditional, almost Karen-y uh, white women uh, getting together for like a little lunch de uh, date. Uh, in a at, church. In a church. And they talk about, it, about, about things. And that's as much as you, we can really say because, uh, yeah, there's some... There's some there's some stuff in there, but yeah, so that but, might not sound particularly horrifying and more shit does happen after that. That's literally like just the first 10 minutes uh, and then shit ha goes down and they do leave the church and other things happen, but that's basically all the trailer gave you and that's all I'm going to give you. Uh, exactly. Um, we will get... D d d like we'll give you a spoiler warning because I do w desperately want to talk about some stuff. This is something we will we will talk spoilers in a minute, but I do want to talk about the movie without talking about the movie. This movie, what I can tell you to kind of entice you into it, this movie is going to make you feel extremely uncomfortable and like I like me and Christian are pretty desensitized and so if we're telling you that this Make, if it made us uncomfortable, then yeah, yeah. It, there might be varying degrees for depending on where your where your levels are at. But no, but if you're if you're really de desensitized, you're gonna feel uncomfortable. If you're not as desensitized, it's even gonna be rougher. And the movie is such a genius. Like camera work is something we can talk yes, about. Yes, I want to talk about that. Uh, the the DP on the film did a phenomenal job because one thing we can we didn't mention uh, this is a one take film. Yes. this is a movie that happens in real time and it is all done in complete one take not in a way of like rope or something where there's cuts throughout it to hide like uh, that they hide cleverly no this movie they shot this film four times to get it right this movie was shot all in one take and continuously over the course of the hour and four, uh, 30 minutes that it takes and 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 that that's impressive on so many levels on an acting level on an editing level but also it really for this kind of movie it works because there's always movies that'll kind of give you a break and remember what I said about feeling uncomfortable and tension this movie never lets you get a second to catch your breath yes. you are thrown in the deep end and you are literally drowning and you feel like you're a character in the movie you are so immersed in this and you and you want like there were times and I, I looked over at you and that was a very rare sight for me you just this, looked just whoa this movie made me incredibly uncomfortable for and stuff. that's yes. rare that is incredibly rare than this 
movie genuinely not necessarily disturbed me, at least not in the traditional sense, but it did make me incredibly uncomfortable, and as it should have, as it absolutely should have, that is an immense praise towards the film. And this movie, and I feel some people might say this, but this, uh, but I'm, I'm going to take a completely different stance than I am. But it, this movie isn't. Do I mean, it's for a point. It's totally for a point, but it is not pointless. Why they're doing what you're doing and bringing up emotions that you're going to probably feel. Um, it, there's a point, and this is a movie like after the credits roll, you're going to need a minute. I did. Yeah. Like, like you're going to need, and, and maybe not even a minute, thirty minutes, an hour, maybe the whole night. Generally, when we're doing a video, we watch the movie and then we film within like an hour or so of watching the movie. This is the next day when we're filming this. We watched this last night and this video is, we're not recording this until the next day because, uh, yeah, we needed some time to fucking come down from this fucking, oh, fucking thing. Um, I guess one other thing uh, is this movie is deeply, deeply political. Yes. And, so if that's something for you, no matter what side of the political spe uh, spectrum you're on, uh, this movie is very political, so if that's something you don't like in movies, you probably really won't like this film because it is very fucking political. Yes. Very, very politically and charged. And very bleak and very nihilistic. Those are yeah. other words. Um, this is not this is not a movie like you want to get hope and inspiration. And there is, and I know this is weird coming from me, but sometimes people need those movies. Sometimes you need to find joy. This is not one of those movies. This movie is going to hit you with a sledgehammer and make you ask yourself some hard questions. And one of the things I love, and, I, and I, the few reviews I've read on this, some people got it, some people didn't. They all glumped this group of women as they're the same. And ideologically, they might be, but they all come from different yeah. walks of life. And that does it genius. Yeah, no, I'll talk about that when we get into spoilers. I, this director, like, fucking had, she also wrote the film, Hats fucking off to her. I forgot what her name was, but uh, she did a fucking phenomenal job here in both writing and directing and research because the topic of this movie is something that I am incredibly familiar with and have done also done a large amount of research on and she fucking nailed it. Whereas like other films that have tackled similar t uh, topics do like the most surface level or basic of stuff, this movie really fucking gets under the skin of the topic in a very uncomfortable and uncompromised way. Um, this movie, I'm not gonna say what movie this reminds me of because if I do, it'll give you a good idea oh, yes. what this movie's about. But there's a movie that came out in the er, 90s that, um, yeah. Yeah, no, there's movie. also another movie I'm thinking of that I was going to draw a parallel as well as with. And while I love the movie, I'm going to mention that, that, that film as well. Uh, it is way more surface level than this film goes. Um, I think my film it isn't as maybe it is surface level, but it, it's handling some of the same subject matter, and it did it brilliantly for the time. This handles it the brilliantly for this time, and yes. it incorporates other issues besides the one main issue. Yes. And I know it's hard to keep up when we're tap dancing around it, but again, I have to implore you guys, please don't read any spoilers don't watch any reviews go in blind because you're gonna get an impact because the, the movie whoa you're just it's literally a fucking car crash and i don't mean that in a negative way you're just driving along and then boom then that fucking pie hits you yeah and you think he's being funny but i'm not that no, fucking pie it's that fucking pie and my vote and, and again and i think i'm pretty desensitized and my, my jaw dropped and i was like oh fuck we're going here aren't we yeah um yeah is there anything else we can talk about without talking um, about it acting is very good of yes course. Uh, all of the actors do a phenomenal job and it's hats off to them again for having to tackle for having to do this type of performance in these types of characters yes i, I don't mean to interrupt no, you ahead. but these but these actors because again they all subscribe to the same ideal uh, ideology but the thing is is they come from so different walks of life and they embody these people so well and uh, it, and it's just it's about so much like you, yeah I, if this movie was simple and and just very basic they would have portrayed these characters in very simple and basic ways but they give these these characters are reprehensible but they're complex they're very yes. multifaceted yeah you're very right about that and well never yeah yeah no <laughs> Stereotypes are tropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, we have to be very fucking uh, vague about this. But yes, personally for me, very, very high positive. Yeah. Uh, again, it is a deeply political film, and it is not, it is a movie fucking full at uh, full attention, and it is a hard sit uh, for most people, I feel. So know all that going in. And even, don't watch it if you're if, a downer. Yeah, if don't, you're in a downer, downer mood. mood. Don't, but I, highest praise I can give. Very strong positive. My absolute fucking praises to both the DP and 
and the director and slash writer in particular. Everyone, the actresses all did phenomenal jobs as well, but especially the fucking DP and the writer-director, the two of them fucking are the reason why this movie is so phenomenal. I, I, I totally concur with what Christian said. This is another... This year, it's weird. Like, like the, uh, well, I'll be talking about this more when we get to our best of the year, but this movie, this year has really thrown out a lot of surprises, especially after we hit a certain point. There have been just movie after movie that, that were not on my radar that has just fucking blown me away, and this is another one to add to that list. It's getting considerably longer. 20, 2022 has been the year of the holy fuck, where did this come from movie. Like most Exactly. Of, most of my favorite films this year are ones that I did not know about at all and completely came out of the blue and we just randomly happened upon. Yeah, I, which, fact, is what I, which are my favorite kinds of movies. I love when that happens, but yeah, this year has been full of those. Yeah, and this is another one to add to the list. This this, this is this is going to make my, my, my end of the year list hard because this is a contender. Oh, this is a good one. Um, I, I But I can see for rewatchability, guys, this is a movie I can totally see returning to, but it's not going to be something, oh boy. Oh man, yeah, no, like this one is, I, I, th almost, I would say this is almost a red to kill for me where this movie is phenomenal. <laughs> I don't know if I want to uh, want to ever watch it again though, but I probably, do, I probably will. It's not quite like a red to kill where like that, that movie genuinely fucking disturbed with me and fucked with me a lot. Whereas this one just like, man, man, this fucking movie does some shit. This fucking, fucking pie, man. All I can say is this movie fucking, one of the most horrifying shots in cinema history now is just a fucking cherry pie. And this, oh. she's my cherry pie. Fucking man. <laughs> Um, literally, in more ways than one. We need some levity. There we go. So we're going to stop here, and I'm going to implore you guys, if you have not seen this movie, please turn back now, but watch it. Put it on your list. Now, don't put it at the top of your pile. Put it on a night when you can watch it, and you're not in a downer, and you're ready to reflect and do some heavy, hard thinking. But when you are ready, definitely put this at the top of your pile. Watch it. Highest recommendations. It's a fucking brilliant movie. My hat is off to the actors, the director. Uh, she was also the writer and the cinema photographer. Yes. She just, uh, everyone just did a phenomenal job. So with that, spoilers. Yeah, spoiler, spoilers. 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 <laughs> we. Now it's time for the fun part. <gasps> okay, um, so just real quick, I guess, uh, trigger warning. <laughs> You what? know we don't do those very yeah, often. But uh, for those of you, trigger warning: white supremacy, Nazis, Nazis. They're all, they're fucking they're fucking Nazis, white supremacist skinheads. And I make it specific. I say all those because that's something. All of them both come from different walks of life, but every character is the embodiment of a different form of white supremacist belief structure. Yes. Our main character is the soft-hearted, civil kind of like she's a fucking kindergarten teacher. Uh, she's very, you know, soft heart, sets the movie style, soft and quietly. We'll get our ideas slowly implanted in so they're palatable for, uh, for, uh, for people and get them to see our way of thinking. Then you have another character who is a total fucking skinhead. She is just absolutely a fucking, uh, fucking skinhead down to her dress code and everything. She's a skinhead and she's super violent, much like with skinhead culture and stuff. So I, I yeah, I, and the other ones, one of them is a fucking member of the KKK and a member of Storm Point, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. One of them, their dad, their daddy was a member of the one KKK, of was, the big, the, what do they call them? The uh, Grand, Grand Dragon. Yeah, the Grand Dragon. Yeah, her daddy was proud, but you know, and she's pre, and again, this movie hits you so much because she's a fucking, pre she's pregnant. Uh, what they're doing, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. They're doing it because, again, and I'm not, please don't come at me, but I did notice a parallel. Like, uh, the, these people also kind of believe what your fundamental Christians believe oh, in the yes. sense that they believe they're making soldiers for the war. You know, Christian soldiers, well, they believe they're making, you know, warriors for their cause as yeah. well. And so, like, that is what matchmaking is one of their goals in this group. Yes, to find and reproduce and continue the belief structure. So and you don't. Stronger and prouder and bring up the next generation of fucking Nazis. So you don't get crossbreeds like, well, like us. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, this, yeah, no, so this fucking movie, this fucking movie. So I'm gonna assume you were talking about American History X? Yes. Yes. I uh, I I'm a basic bitch. No, I, no, I, fi I figured. I was, I was referring to Green Room as well, well for mine. 
I, I talk a little bit about that for you with the American History X parallels. The reason why th this hits it so hard, uh, but again, but we're getting what I like about the uh, American History X is it's definitely from a very male perspective. Yes. It is this. Oh my God! Yes. This this has a we do have Farusa Bulk and you get but she's just on the fringes. I even that was one of my only problems with the movies. I would have liked to spend more time with her character because as a woman you wonder how the ideas this movie kind of fixes that for me because you know as women and I'm not throwing any men under the bus but I think that we have a higher idea when we're women like we're softer hearted we can't think of this garbage and like hate just to hate and stuff and then you see these women and you're just ashamed you're like oh no 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 don't represent me this isn't the way women think the director uh, said I watched an interview for this movie the way I, what stirred her to create this film was I believe it was the Amy Johnson film or something and that that video that came out during the pandemic of that white bitch calling the cops on the black guy bird watching because he was threatening her even though he wasn't doing jack shit. Uh, that was the direct thing that made her want to do research into the history of like w female white supremacy, which led her down the trad wife and which led her into making this movie. And God, it fucking shows she, I know I said it earlier, but she, the amount of research and the amount of details that she got right, so f I was in fucking awe of how this much stuff, because I also am someone who finds the fucking uh, belief structure in these people. Mindset. Fast, uh, fast fascinating and stuff and uh, and because like and to get a little bit fucking uh, pearl so because i almost was this i almost fucking was this at a point uh, anyone who's ever wondered like why does christian nowadays say oh fuck like 2018 early channel christian uh because i was basically like i was very much like alt-right pipeline kind of uh, fucking person then i kind of woke up and realized fuck all of this but like you I, were never going to not i was never that. full i was never full on like a white supremacist or, or a fucking nazi or anything but i did i was that fucking uh, fucking disenfranchised fucking disfected uh fucking douchebag that like avidly listened to dipshits like stephen crowder and ben shapiro every day on i fucking ironically um so no i totally to, I, so I find researching these people and studying their belief structures very fascinating and also so I look at also noise for little fucking dog whistles and little fl uh, flags wh uh, whatnot. Um, so a lot of the stuff that this movie does, like little stuff that the movie doesn't call out to stuff the movie does call out, like the skinhead character having fucking Hebrew, uh, a back patch of uh, fucking Hebrew writing, which is something skinheads do because they try to take the fucking Hebrew language away to er erase the Jewish people and stuff. That's an actual thing. The movie never addressed that but that little detail right there shows the amount of fucking research that the director did and I immensely commend her for it. I've never seen a film even some documentaries on like fucking skinhead culture and stuff that go into this deep and this fucking focus on the on their topic I have never seen a movie go this far before I love I fucking like that that whole first like 20 minutes of the movie of them having the fucking luncheon in the church and they're all just fucking talking having a nice time just like, as the fucking girls, like, they'll t they're talking fucking horrible, racist, fucking anti-Semitic shit. And then they'll just have this throwaway l line about, like, one of them showing the other person their, like, fucking pictures of their kids or something. They're bought of it. Like, the movie never fucking, the movie both humanizes them, but, and never fucking sides with them. Like, it points out, like, no, these are real fucking people that exist, and, yeah, I'm not making them caricatures where racism and their hatred is the only thing about them as people, but they're still wretches of humanity that deserve no fucking sympathy, which I love. The a director did it so fucking well. They did, the, and that's what I mean. In a lesser movie, they would have made more stereotypical things that we all know, but no, they they make these people flesh and blood and, like, are, are in some ways just like you and me mm -hmm. which makes it even more horrifying and you also and I like the way the movie kind of feeds you very slowly because at the very beginning of the movie before we even find out they're Nazis we're following the teacher the the kindergarten teacher and she gets a call right and she from prison, from prison and she she doesn't accept the call and you're like I wonder what that's about the movie answers that uh, toward the end of the movie but it, it's just amazing what that's about it has a connection to another character and another thing it brings and I feel like the director was really trying to you know not heavy-handed but she was definitely trying to make a point across about the breeding because uh, our kindergarten teacher desperately wants she a desperately baby wants a child she, to continue the lineage because she thinks she would just be a wonderful mother, wonderful mother. and she's and she just and I mean and, and there's a scene where she tells the stu 
student who's like who's like she's late to this part this Nazi party because a student her his mom didn't pick him up soon enough and uh she, and she has the student kind of harass this janitor yeah custodian and it's just it's uh, and that's when you're realizing oh my god what is up you're not quite clued in yet but you're getting yeah, there yeah you don't I I just thought okay are we just doing a bunch of like fucking ultra Christian Karens and stuff I thought that's what we were doing and then we have a fucking zoo, the fucking cutaway because the our main character the fucking kindergarten teacher is carrying around a fucking dessert she made for the thing which is a pie which is the titular pie that we keep talking about and then the movie the big fucking reveal uh, of the movie at like the 15 minute mark where it like pulls everything out the rug for, out from under you is when you just fucking uh, z zoom into the pie and there's just a swastika carved into it which some people might say oh that's too much there that's fucking over the top one this subtlety is not this movie's point it wants to get its message across to as many people as possible no matter how bluntly it has to tell it uh two yeah nazis are fucking idiots and that's something they would do you see that shit all over the goddamn internet and actually what i think it is i think it actually is going into a deeper character study because this school this kindergarten teacher that we're following she does she, except for the racism she wants to come across as martha fucking stewart yes. and that's exactly yeah if martha stewart was a nazi it would be like oh yeah, what no. can i make this nice touch no you're totally right she is fucking nazi Mar martha stewart even down to like she's fucking like the most high femme out of everyone and she puts down all the other girls for one for dressing like mildly fucking skimpy or sex uh, sexual and the other one for dressing slightly butch like i loved that I, I, that's something yeah she's told i didn't uh, th 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 i didn't have the words to describe it yeah you're totally right she's fucking nazi martha stewart yeah and she wants to show up all these women and so not, not only does she have to make a homemade pie she has to you know as martha would say it's a good thing so how can i make this pie an extra good thing well of course they're not because yeah, it's a touch. Yeah, because and it goes into something else about the, with with the movie that I really like as well as just actual fucking fucking this culture this culture uh, is the fact that they all fucking hate each other and think all, everyone else is lesser than them and they are the only ones that fucking have any superiority and everyone else in the group is lesser than they are. Yeah. They all fucking hate each other because Nazis at the end of the day just have fucking superiority complexes and want to feel fucking better than everyone else. They said, we were talking about this during the movie, like if they didn't have all the other races to hate, that they, if, if they got their way, then they would just be turning on each other. Oh yeah, yeah. Because they're so vastly different. Yeah. To, co uh, to quote one fucking ki uh, killer, Mike, yeah, th uh, they'll come for me after they come for you, or they they come for you after they co uh, come for me, shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. She cages ain't just uh, ain't built for just one fucking group. Yeah, you exactly. Know? You know, yeah, no, absolutely. Would you see something even like we're fucking the actual fucking Nazis of World War Two Germany, where like there was so much fucking infighting because they all hated each other because it was basically a giant dick measuring contest to show who was superior to fucking each other in that in their own fucking group before they ever fucking even eradicated any of the fucking lesser beings than them. And again, this movie handles it so well because all these characters, you get backstories and like the one that her daddy was like a grand dragon on the KKK, like like the what you get from that is your taught hate from that such an early age. Of course she's going to be like that because she didn't know anything else and she's the pregnant one. The the skinhead one, she, she and I like it because it, this is where, uh, the, the, a lot of times this movie isn't subtle, but where it is subtle and I really like like this about the skinhead is she talks about her actual family and you she doesn't talk a lot about it but you get the sense that she came from a really fucked up dysfunctional Poor, family like trash family and she had to go to prison and then she found this other family the skinhead family in prison and that's all she wants and again these groups find these kind of disenfranchised people she doesn't have a home so she found a home among the skinheads and that's probably the most stable and loving home she ever knew mm -hmm, compared yeah. to what skinheads were better than whatever her real family was and it goes in and then there's this kind of rednecky woman that's just really ignorant we all know people mm -hmm. like this who's just a plain you know white 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 power kind of lady she owns a, a a store but it's interesting we get insights and then of course our kindergarten teacher she desperately wants a baby but she has other issues not just wanting a baby because again remember i said she has a brother that's in prison the reason her brother is in prison and you're going to find this out in the movie is because because her brother raped somebody and of course it was a minority woman that they, that she that he raped and she still and they live in a small town and she has to see this woman and she's just so bitter and 
everybody knows that her brother's a rapist and she's trying to make it. No, it wasn't about that. And so between not having a baby and having to live with it, your brother's a fucking rapist. I mean, she just is like, she tries to present herself this pro this woman, this pillar of virtue when she's just this really sad, pathetic loser. Mm -hmm. Basically. Like all Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, she tries, she desperately wants to be one thing when everything is, when yeah. you really look underneath, but it gets like, we get so in depth with all these characters. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is a movie. Like if you need to, if you like are still watching the fucking spoilers at this point, which fucking why, um, <laughs> but like if you need a break, you, if you need to do this movie over a couple of fucking sessions, I can understand. That we won't honestly. judge. I can totally understand that. But no, um, is there anything else? Cause I don't want to, for the few people who maybe are sticking around through spoilers for the fuck of it, I don't want to, I don't want to give away the a last blow little, by I, blow. I don't want to give a blow by blow and give the last little bits over. Is there anything else you want to talk about before we wrap things up? No, not really. Um, this movie is just, uh, amazing. Um, it, it's brilliant. It, it is nihilistic. It is bleak. It does not offer hope, but it does remind you like, yes, in a lot of ways the world has come and we're better and, you know, people have a lot more information at their fingertips, but, but they, we haven't cleansed all these Nazis out mm. of the world There's yet still either. just as much t uh, time for, uh, for the Nazis and the fucking, those, uh, those types to corrupt and change the information to fit their narrative. Yeah. And I would also, in a weird way, I'd say this would be a great double feature with, uh, with American History X and Yeah, Green American Room. History X and Green Room and various other films of that ilk. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, um, and, and it's just like, wow, you, and, and again, you, you think women, women can be just as, in fact, even worse than men in some ways. I, I'm gonna say it. These women are even worse. You expect it from men, but when women do it, oh my fucking God, it just, oh, you felt like you needed a shower, um, but this movie, it's not for everyone, but this is a movie I feel everyone needs to see. It's a genius piece of work. My hat's off to her. I know she did a short about a rape and, yeah, and yeah, stuff. She's done several shorts, but this was her first feature as well, which is fucking, my God, the it, amount of talent. Yeah, and it, my hat's off to everybody in this production. Um, it's And it's one I feel everybody needs to see. I give it uh, the highest rating. It is an undisco uh, undiscovered gem, and I can understand why some people be, not even want to deal with it, but I feel everyone needs to. I can understand those who cannot who cannot stomach. I, I can totally understand that again, especially uh, given in my background and stuff. This was a difficult movie to sit through, uh, sit through, but I do really fucking appreciate the way she handled everything. Like she both makes them fuck, uh, she both makes Nazis fucking fully fleshed out human characters while also never once having any form of sympathy towards them, which no. fucking way you fuck, uh, fucking should do it. Never portray Nazis with sympathy. They're fucking Nazis. Yeah. Um, yeah. I draw a line at that. You but, can understand, but you can understand. But it shows the much why? like Green Room and American History X. American History X more so, like that's my main issue of Green Room as much as I love that film. Is like kind of touches on a little bit of, of the fucking pipeline into this belief structure. This film, I think even more so than American History X, really Really, yes. really fucking get uh, gets down to the nitty gr uh, gritty of it. Again, I commend the fucking director for the amount of research and how, the amount of accuracy that she put into the fucking movie. Commend that immensely, because holy shit. What, 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 another reason, just real quick before you guys go, uh, why I say so much American History X is because everyone, I think, forgets this one scene, and it's very, and for me, I thought, wow, this movie's super smart. In American History X, uh, yeah, we talk about the Nazis and everything everything but what we talk about is the dinner scene when his father is still alive and he you know is a fire chief and you know and he and he's saying it's just you know in mm -hmm. in bullshit mm -hmm. and stuff like that and he's an educated guy yeah. and it's a normal family that they're they're not skinheads at this point and and Edward Nor Norton you know you, you listen because the, the, his father looms large in his life and so you hear that and you know it starts at home like yeah, it, it starts always, at home it starts at home again like you were saying why why else would they be so obsessed with having children and, and you know, homeschooling and so on and so forth? They're, again, the fact that our main character is a fucking kindergarten teacher and the first scene of her is fucking telling a kid to fucking treat a fucking Hispanic custodian like absolute garbage because he's, she's not white, unlike him. Yeah, yeah, you gotta teach him young. You gotta teach him young. But that's why that's why I kind of like in these two movies because, uh, but you're right, this movie goes in a lot harder on the I've backstory. I've never seen, I've never, I, like I said, I genuinely 
really mean that. I have done a ton of research. I've watched a lot of material on this. I've read a lot of material on the other uh, this topic. I, I've there are even some documentaries that go, don't go in as deep as this movie does. So again, a, a top fucking props to the director for uh, for everything she did here. It is, it is. But again, like I said, this this is not going to be for everybody. This is going to some people. I can understand some people turning it off. Yeah, no, abs absolutely, absolutely. I can see this being a like I said, trigger warning. Fucking white supremacy, and it's this ain't fucking like no fucking Disney Channel white supremacy. Uh, they talk exactly how you expect and use the exact words that you you you, that you expect it to hear from them. So, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of racial slurs in the movie. And this is not a PC movie, this is and not. the N word is brought up a lot as well as other uh, derogatory terms. Yes, it's yes, just, no, yeah. absolutely. Well, never once, like never fucking once, having any form of sympathy towards these people, and just fucking absolutely low their belief structure which fuck yeah yeah but it also does something smart because it shows you that what how it can be and it's kind of a cautionary tale like look what can happen if you know if you mix the wrong set of beliefs with the with the wrong set of people it really leads to bad it happened i think sometimes you know in history at one point <laughs> i think disenfranchised people were pissed uh, a bunch and they of needed... disenfranchised people trying to overthrow the government <laughs> and fucking take uh take over and have fucking massive superiority and what not? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. And it only happened that one time. Only that one time in no time within the last two years or anything. Huh? No, no, no. So with all that out of the way, bo booze and goals. I promise we will have. Fuck you, Stephen Crowder. I, 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 I swear we will have a lighter video for our next one. Probably. We, we, maybe. we didn't mean to go this, but this is a movie we feel like we haven't heard many people talking about, and it's a movie that needs to be talked about. So thank you guys so much. If you guys are still here, thank you for watching this video. I promise. We're, we're, we're usually a little lighter and funner on this yeah, channel. Yeah, we're usually a little bit more like, yeah, joke, yeah, you're horny, yeah, I hate everything, yeah, da, 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 da. But, but sometimes we have to talk about serious things and put on our serious faces, but next time we'll be fun, I promise. So please stick around, and if you're new around here and do happen to like the contents of this channel, please hit that subscriber button because we do appreciate every subscriber you get. But if you're a Nazi, don't bother, don't, don't bother. Not, we, we don't, don't want we, Nazis we don't on our channels. We don't fuck with neo-Nazi spew. No, we don't want neo But if you're not a Nazi and not a dick, you're you're welcome. Um, and so with all that out of the way, boos and ghouls, uh, that concludes another episode from Jen's Reviews from the Grave. We thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. And in the meantime, keep watching and talking horror, people. We'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. I need a rum and coke <laughs> and smoke. I don't smoke, but I need a smoke.